Hey guys, this is Marty, Child Dog Barbecue. And today I'm gonna to make a quick video and show you how to wash, store, and pre-season or re-season your cast iron frying pans um, after each use. I know a lot of people love the results they get with cast iron. However, a lot of people don't use them after the first couple of times because when they go to get them, they're rusted and uh, have accumulated a lot of rust. So I'm gonna show you how to prevent that. So I had a pan, cook some pork chops in it earlier. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and wash this pan like I normally would. And then I'll show you the steps to take after uh, after that be right back okay guys I'm back I just washed my pan and I just uh, got it out and notice how I left it wet because what you're gonna do is you want to immediately put it back under some low to medium heat now what I would do what I normally do is I just take away some of the heavy water off of it but it's wiping it out like so. Now the reason I put it back on the heat is because I want the heat to absorb all the moisture. I want this pan to be completely dry. And then what I'm gonna do is just gonna take a little bit of oil, whatever oil you wanna use. I'm gonna use some, some uh, olive oil. Just put your some on a paper towel while the pan is still hot and then just give it a light coating. And what that will do is because the heat has expanded the pores of the cast iron, it will absorb that oil and it prevent it from, from rusting. And that's what you should do after every time your cast iron is submerged in water. So that will prevent it from rusting. So let me give this a few minutes to heat up and then I'll be right back and show you those steps. Okay guys, I'm back. Now my frying pan is good and hot now. It's, uh, it's hot to the touch. For how to touch, which is just where I want it. And you can tell that it's good and dry. The pores are, are open up and all that moisture is gone. And you'll be able to tell that because they go from a, a shine to like a, uh, a dull flat look. Um, but if you put your hand over it, it sh you should feel the heat and it should be very hot to the touch. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn my heat off. Gonna get me a couple of folded paper towels. Pour me some oil on it. I'm just gonna go over that. Make sure, just push it down into those pores. Okay, once you do that, get you a clean paper towel. and just sop up the excess. And that's that. That's how you should store your cast iron pans in between uses. That's how you should do it. So wash it as usual. Take and put it on the fire, get it scorching hot to make sure all that water inside it has evaporated. Get you some oil and a paper towel. Go over it once it's hot. It's very hot to the touch. Now I will say this, uh, using uh, cooking spray will work, but I've, I've noticed that it's not as thick as regular oil, so it doesn't hold uh, the coating as long, uh, especially when it gets wet. So. I would suggest using uh, either vegetable oil or some olive oil. But that's it. That's how you store it. This will prevent it from rusting. Uh, like, subscribe to my channel. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.